Hello, my karma babies. How are you doing? Uh, hey, I'm doing great. We are having a deep, deep freeze down here uh, right now in uh, Mississippi. You know, it, it's just crazy how this weather has been. Guys, um, for all of you who don't know, um, you just happen upon my channel today. I'm Granny Karma. And... Um, I absolutely love all of my karma babies. You know, guys, um, I was talking with someone the other day, and we were talking about the fact that I have karma babies that are older than me. <laughs> They're my babies, uh, and I'm their granny, even though I'm 74 and some of them are older. I just feel uh, comfortable in that role of being everybody's granny. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, often people will say, you have a name, you know, granny on YouTube. It's called granny. Yeah, I'm a granny and I love it. Guys, listen. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so that... Uh, you'll know when I post a video and hit that bell so that you'll be notified, hopefully, each and every time I do post a video. Well, the last time we talked, we talked about, uh, I did a video in a really big rush in a hurry. We were talking about um, things that were occurring on um, around us in the world. Uh, that were concerning money. Uh, look at my last video post and you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm being a little bit hesitant, yes, uh, only because uh, I experienced some uh, issues in being able to post that video online. Um, sometimes you have to be not... You have to be very careful about what you're posting and what you're saying. But uh, I wanted to get that video to you guys like quick, fast, and in a hurry. And since then, you know, there's been a few things that have happened. Uh, a few other uh, large uh, money um, lenders that are experiencing problems and uh, I know that you guys do remember that a year ago or two years ago I don't remember when I told you guys but I felt very uncomfortable about some situations and I had gotten uh, uh, notifications from my bank about coins and uh, it made me a little leery about um leaving funds in different locations so i had told you guys to take everything out guys well you know i don't want to um stress you guys out i don't want to uh i waited purposely before i came back on i wanted to see what was going to happen with what's going on and so far i'm i'm uh, very pleased and i'm sure that the people that uh this occurrence has happened to are very pleased. Uh, you know, your bank covers you for up to $250,000. And uh, when the FDIC, the FDIC is involved and the regulators are involved, it looks like they're taking this very seriously. What, how could you not, right? How could you not? I'm just concerned about the uh, domino effect. You know, banks bank with each other. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the domino effect and a little bit concerned that uh, what's happening, you know, at one bank can affect another bank. Bottom line is just make sure that you are following your gut instinct. Now, I'm not telling you to take your money out of the bank. I did before. I did say take your money out of the bank. Although I did, I I think in that video, I told you, you know, in caution, take out what you feel is comfortable. Uh, you don't want 
to have a lot of stack cash stashed around your home uh, because you know things can happen you could get robbed you could have a fire you could have an earthquake with everything that's going on in the world there are so many things that could happen that you want to avoid being vulnerable so that you don't lose your money trying to protect your money so just be you know cognizant of where where you're placing your funds once you have them in your hands but i would suggest and um always have extra money at home you never know when an emergency is going to happen you never know uh you know when you're you're going to have to you know if the grid goes down or the electrical for instance this morning my internet was down i've had many occasions because of the weather where my electricity has been down and in the entire town that I live in the entire town where the electricity is out uh, and so I, I would not be able to go to my local bank and pull out cash make sure that you have sufficient cash on hand to sustain but m even more urgent than that, I think, which is an urgency, make sure that you are stocking up. Make sure that you have extra food, canned goods. You know, we've talked about it over and over and over again. Uh, make sure that you have everything in place that you need and able to sustain yourself and your family. That's all I'm concerned about. Um, I'm not trying to panic anyone. You know, we all see what happens when people panic and they bum rush a, a bank or bum rush anything. You know, if you, if, if people panic and everybody goes at one time and say, I want my, I want, give me back this, give it back to me, then what happened at the couple of banks that are already, you know, experiencing issues will happen. So, you know, just be modest in what you're doing as far as your funds are concerned. If you have extra funds over the $250,000, spread it around. You know, I'm sure all these people with millions and millions of dollars they hold themselves up to, excuse me, guys, um, people that have the $250,000 or more, um, you know, they know what they're facing. They didn't get that type of money where they have millions and millions of dollars and not know uh, what might happen. Now, it looks like the you know, the regulators, Federal Reserve, FDIC, all, it looks like those people are going to be okay. Uh, but I know that in the meantime, you can get so far behind if you're not being able to make payroll, if you're not able to, you know, take care of your debt that you need to take care of. It could put you out of business. It could put you out of business. So, I just wanted to come on and say I, I'm praying for everyone. I know everything is going to be okay because, you know, the banks might do this. The grocery stores might do that. But God is the one that's going to regulate everything. And as long as you have faith in God and you follow his commandments and you do the right thing, you're going to be okay, guys. Don't, you know, I'm, I'm, um, you know. I'm 74, right? I'm an older person. And um, I don't have that spouse any longer that was there that I would have just pushed everything on him. <laughs> now I have to, uh, you know, do different things to take care of myself. Uh, yeah. Um, so just make sure that you take care of yourself, not only by having the cash on hand, but having the food on hand. Make sure that you have the food on hand, guys. And we're going to talk about that uh, 
you know, in, a, in another video. I'm going to do another one while I'm, I'm sitting here, uh, you know, uh, waiting on my daughter. She went inside of a, a, an establishment and I'm sitting here waiting on her. So, you know, whenever I'm sitting and waiting, I always think about my karma babies and I want to talk to you guys. So this is just a follow up on the last video that I did about the, uh, bank that was shut down and we know today is Wednesday uh, March 15th and we know another bank was uh, shut down on Sunday so pay attention to the news around you but don't pay attention to it so much that it takes and steals away that joy from you okay um, we're going to talk about that in the next video so um, guys remember I want to let you go remember how others treat you is their karma, but how you respond is your karma. You can use that in this instance. What's happening around you is their karma. You have no control over that, but how you respond to different situations in your life, you do have, you have control over that. You have control over how you respond and how you respond is the outcome. You know, you can go into things with a joyous um, attitude and it seems like it turns things around. So listen, I'm going to get off because, you know, um, like it's, I am sitting here in a car. <laughs> People are looking at me passing by like, who is this lady talking to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to my karma babies and I love each and every one of you and guys Desiree is doing fine we're working on an update she's doing fine um, you know certain things I want her to tell you I don't feel that it's up to me to but just know that she's fine and she's going to come and talk to you guys very very soon and I love you my karma babies bye bye honeys I'll talk to you very soon